Hello everyone and welcome to a Author Academia review of Throne of Glass. Throne of Glass is the temporal first entry into the Throne of Glass series, making its debut in August 2012. The series spans 8 books total including a prequel, so if this book catches your fancy, there is a ton more content for you to explore. Selena Serdothian is our protagonist, a snide, well-known, and highly skilled young assassin. The first chapter begins in the salt mines of Endovier, where Selena is barely scraping by as a slave. I love this initial chapter because it serves multiple purposes and does so effectively. For example, chapter 1 not only succeeds in showing the reader who Selena is and why she has the reputation she does, but also kicks the story forward instead of twiddling its thumbs and loitering around several chapters waiting for the plot to show up. To put it another way, I appreciate the brisk initial pacing and it's done right. What should the reader expect from the story as a whole? The best way I could describe it, Throne of Glass is a hybrid murder mystery, battle royale narrative with a sprinkling of romantic tension and a pinch of political intrigue. Most of the story is focused around a royal competition, pitting the strongest and fiercest warriors in the kingdom of Ardlan against one another in sport and combat. However, while the competition wages on, strange occurrences and horrific murders take place around the castle, interfering with what might have been an otherwise easy victory for Selena. The events of the royal competition were my favorite part of the story, especially one particular epic stunt Selena pulls off about halfway through the novel, which I'll discuss in the spoilers. I found the mystery events around the castle fairly captivating, helping to keep the tension of the story relatively high even in more relaxed moments. I personally didn't find the romantic tension very interesting, especially since the characters were plopped into this dreadful love triangle. I'm not going to detract anything from my review since this was such a small portion of Throne of Class, and I think some readers will enjoy this kind of thing, but not my cup of tea. As for the elements of political intrigue, they are sprinkled around the story and help create a sense of scale for the world in Throne of Glass. Selena might be cooped up in the castle for most of the book, but the world outside the castle is roving just as much as the world inside. Readers are simply left looking through a keyhole. For this purpose, and simply because together they're charming, I especially enjoyed the relationship between Nemia and Selena. The dialogue makes up a hearty slab of Throne of Glass, and I think most readers will enjoy the colorful and lively character conversations. During these spoken interactions, Sarah J. Mass allows for the personality of the speaking character to really shine through, even if it's a side character, and this helps build the world of Throne of Glass. On the topic of characters, many of them are well-written archetypes, which jive well with the narrative and the action. I can't say there was a character that I found particularly egregious, although some characterization for the villains wasn't particularly strong. At times they felt a little more like a plot device than an actual human threat, but that might be due to how powerful Selena is in comparison. On the topic of Selena, from what I can remember she doesn't have very many flaws or weaknesses that are revealed, besides perhaps her abrasive personality and a tendency to be competitive and overconfident. However, a character dynamic I did like about her is that despite her rough exterior, Selena does have a soft spot for her friends, which contrasts much of the rumors and tales of her ruthlessness. I wish this element was explored more in Throne of Glass, but alas, my wish is for naught. I have yet to read the sequel, perhaps I will be pleasantly surprised. Otherwise, I think Selena is a good character with a strong personality, but she certainly has room to develop. The prose of Throne of Glass is nothing groundbreaking, but it's perfectly suited for what Sarah J. Mass wishes to accomplish. I mean, it's easy to read, smooth and unobtrusive, which are attributes that I think most young adult books aim for. One doesn't usually pick up a young adult book for a Shakespearean account of things, usually a person is just looking for a fun read, and with that goal in mind, Sarah J. Mass scores. The climax of Throne of Glass was good, but it did feel a little lackluster to me. Sarah J. Mass attempts to bring her twofold plot elements together for a flashy conclusion, and we are left with a bit of a confusing scene that doesn't really live up to expectations. The solution here, I'll say, and try not to spoil anything, feels a little bit cheaty, and I wish it had a stronger and more relevant solution. In summary, Throne of Glass is a intertwined amalgamation of two dilemmas that together form a unique and devious tale. Characters are agreeable, the prose is pleasant, and Selena herself is charming to watch. 
kind of in the same way a bull in a china shop is charming. The climax may disappoint some readers as it did me, but sometimes it's about the journey, not the destination. There's not much to dislike. Despite being a throne of glass, the readers will find the narrative to be rigid and unbreakable. For rating, it's a relatively old book at this point, but it's certainly worth buying and reading if you haven't yet. Throne of Glass is perfect for a rainy day or a lazy afternoon. Thanks for tuning in. Check out my spoilers discussion for Throne of Glass or some other reviews up on the channel, and have a great day.